extensile approach for exposure of median nerve, distal radius, and carpus. A brief video. Positioning. The patient lies down in supine position. The hand is in supination on a hand table. Exsanguinate the arm and elevate the tourniquet, if indicated. Indications. Complex intraarticular distal radius fractures. Especially that involves lunate facet or die punch fragment. Flexor tendon repair. Vascular repair, radial artery. Incision and drainage of infections. Excision of masses or tumors in carpal tunnel. Exposure of the volar wrist capsule. Incision. The incision is extended only at an angle across the wrist crease. See figure. Superficial dissection. Extension of the volar Henry approach. Superficial dissection. Identify the palmaris longus, incise the fascia, and identify the palmar cutaneous nerve branch and the median nerve. Release the fascia of the palmaris longus tendon and retract tendons only to expose the median nerve figure. Retract the palmaris tendon and identify and protect the median nerve and the transverse carpal ligament. Remain on the ulnar aspect of the median nerve and divide the TCL, protecting the median nerve at all times, figure. Identify the palmar cutaneous nerve branch and the recurrent motor branch and protect them during exposure. Retraction of the tendons after release of the transverse carpal ligament allows for access to the volar ligaments and carpus, see figure. Closure. The pronator is repaired loosely with absorbable sutures. Subcutaneous tissue and superficial skin are closed with sutures. Hazards. The radial artery and its branches. The palmar cutaneous nerve. The median nerve recurrent branch. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.